A man from Yankton has had the need for speed ever since he was in his early 20s. Even at 80 years old, he still gears up on the weekends to burn rubber and has no plans on stopping. In tonight's Eye on Kelly Lynn, Julia Lynn takes us to Thunder Valley Dragways to meet the longtime racer. Eddie Wool's love for cars started at a young age. His first ever race was right here at Thunder Valley Dragways in Turner County. I do everything myself in the car. Throughout his lifetime, he's had the opportunity to race around the country and building his own cars. One of his most memorable ones was winning first place in the Mile High National in Colorado. Everybody tries their best, you know, every race. Didn't always work out that way, but... During the racing season, Wool finds himself at a different racetrack around the country on the weekends. Even after all his travels, the Yankton native still finds time to compete in his home state. Every track you go to, you meet new friends. You might not see him for a year to that one track, but we're still friends. His daughter, Shelly Eiler, says she remembers coming to the racetrack since she was a child. I can't imagine him not racing because it's been his passion and his love his entire life. Um, but to think that he's 80 years old and still doing it is pretty darn cool. I'm super proud of him. We all are very proud of him. Eiler says he was the first in the family to take his talents to the racetrack. He just loved cars and he loves creating something out of nothing where he would just go find something and um, build it to be what it could be. However, drag racing is more than just putting the pedal to the metal. Well, you want to cover the quarter miles as fast as you can in time and speed. It does take skill. Number one, you got to have a good car and you got to have the engine and, and all of those kinds of things. But you have to, um, you have to take off from the, the line quickly, but not so quickly. Like you want to have a really good reaction time but not so quickly that you red light. So, I mean, you can lose the race at the line, and, that, and people might not realize that. After banking thousands of miles throughout the decades, Wool says it's the people and memories he's made along the way that he cherishes the most. Even if I don't win, I still enjoy it. It's the friends that you meet. He's a great role model for other people to say, you know what? If, if it's something you love, who says you have to stop doing it at some age? I honestly think, think it's what keeps him going. With Eye on Kelloland, I'm Julia Lynn. Wool says on a typical day on the track, he hits around 100 to 120 miles per hour. He says he also got his cousin into drag racing.